What is going on guys? Today I am on NBA 2K24 and I could imagine like everybody the first feature that a lot of people will go for is the create a player. So how do we do that? We're on the main menu as you can see we go all the way down to features as a lot of the kind of new style is going to be and you want to go in to create a player which is on the roster obviously we'll look at the roster and how to change that in a few moments but create a player is the big one that we're going to go for so you can go for obviously the nwba and also the nba we're going to go nba for now confirmation you're about to view the created players list players created in the create a player features can be added to a roster and draft classes from this list players on the list that are not part of the roster or draft class until they are added so you've got to add it after when there are any changes made to the original player or the version of the him in the roster it will not affect one another so once you've gone through this you can add your new player in the simple view so for instance we're going to go add and we get all of these options the big thing with nba is the customization of your player we've already had a look at the shoe customization which obviously you can add into here but this is going to be the start so we have vitals to start with which again is just going to be pretty much name all of that jazz nickname obviously position is going to be a big one for a lot of people depending on where you kind of want to go for obviously you've got a secondary position which is always good for a career mode maybe you want to change it up halfway through maybe a mid career change in a position also then you have your colleges qualifies for the world team again that's going to be big for that one especially in your career mode obviously then we have the date of birth start of first season you can go all the way down to 19 and then all the way up to 40 which is crazy obviously the jersey number that's going to be important if obviously you are trying to take somebody else's jersey number away dominant hand dominant dunk hand years as pro you can go all the way up to 22 peak start age can obviously be changed as well and also peak end age and then also you have your potential so i think to be honest the best potential is going to be 99 which is what you're going to pick as well as that or potential yeah potential that then obviously the max potential you want to go to 99 as well if you want to make it realistic and go minimum for the potential that is going to be interesting as well you have burst percentage average percentage boom percentage and play for win financial security oh my god a lot of numbers loyalty then obviously have your injury type so you can go with a lot of different things which you can add if you wanted to make either a former pros career maybe you go with an injury type or if you are going more realistic and you do have back spasms you are just generically healthy you can really go down and delve deep into this you got a few injury types as well we also have force non-starter play initiator play type which is going to have a few different roles as well and then also play type two three four and that is going to be all the vitals so a big already start to it and we've not even touched on the appearance yet so obviously with the appearance you've got all of your heads that you can edit you can start with a base depending on what you want to go with so for instance we want to go here you go with the appearance and as you can see on the bottom you can rotate your player or you can press y and go through all of the different settings to obviously change school kind of positioning you can change your hair you can change your nose as a standard you've got a lot of few things here cheeks mouth upper teeth and lower teeth which again we are going absolutely crazy in it chin skin and chest as well what has chest got is it just oh freckles okay that is just absolutely mental so you can go literally into the massive massive uh, kind of customization of a player so that's going to be all of the head and you can really kind of delve deep into that if you are trying to make either a a specific person or yourself we then have the body, which is going to be all of your height, which max out at seven. Oh my God, seven, seven foot seven. And the lowest you can go is all the way down to five four, which is again a massive, massive difference. Depending, you can obviously go with the weight more. Wingspan can obviously go even longer if you really wanted to. Again, looking a bit too sus there. Obviously, you got the shoulder width as well, all the way at 100 if you really wanted to, which, again, is just a freak of nature when it comes to the size of them arms. You've obviously got tattoos, as this guy's already got some on him. You can obviously change that up with whatever you want. Uh, so, say, for instance, we want to go fully delve deep into it. You can, again, go into the massive thing and move all of your scales and where that sleeve actually is. Will depend on, obviously, your kit and where it lies as well. If we want to back out of that keep return you've obviously gone then your shoes uh shoot what's that shoes home have you got i'm trying to think where we got the customization of them i don't know if that's model oh so you might have i can imagine you should have 
2K brand. So I think you should have, I'd imagine under the 2K brand under or a customization, once you've actually put a shoe in, you should have them there that you can obviously put on as well. You can obviously change that once you've made the shoe or after whether you wanted to do it uh, kind of in uh, order of doing the player first and then the shoe second obviously then you've got the the socks you've got all the way down to the short short length is absolutely nuts to see the levels that you can go with there we then have accessories with headbands with obviously headband logo head, headband frequency oh okay how many times it's on basically left arm left arm frequency left elbow all the way down to fingers you obviously got the right arm and vice versa everything else as well You've also got home and away colors also, which is, again, another one to kind of realign with what team you're going to go with. So, again, you've got even more down there. Attributes-wise, this is going to be a big one, depending on how you wanted to start. If you wanted to make your 99-rated character already, then obviously you can do that. Or if you're making somebody for a career mode, you can really kind of delve deep into what you think you should start at, especially if you thought of a 19-year-old a self, and then really kind of pushed it to the limits of where you think you should be on each of these stats maybe you have more pass iq than actual execution that again could be something you could really relay in this customization tendencies again we've got a few different ones which is pretty cool in itself you almost add your strengths and weaknesses which i think is a really really nice kind of setup for this Hot zones, obviously you can choose where you're kind of going to, going to be and obviously where you're thinking the best place is that you're going for. So if you go cold in the mid-range center, but then you go hot left-hand side, again, it's going to be all down to your play styles. Signatures then is going to be just your generic kind of stance of how you jump, how you shoot. And I believe, uh, uh, I was going to say, is there a, there's got to be a dunk as well. You've got a free throw, uh, free throw. you've got your dr uh, dribble pull-up, spin, you've got your dunks, which again is nice and cool to see and add that little extra to your thing. So again, we've got loads that we can do with that. You've obviously got post-game, ball handling. You can go with the different types if you want to go pro, normal, basic. There is a lot of different things that you can go with there. Then also, you have your misc with your motion, pre-game, all of the whole shebang, and also your rituals as well go on arm and kobe so incredible stuff there badges so again we've got a few different things that we can go with here um personally i would kind of just stay unequipped with a lot of this and you will naturally kind of get them as you go forward in your career then finally you've got you've also got import player dna so again you can use a specific player on a roster if you wanted to really think that your play style is similar to a other person's and then obviously you can export yours as well into somebody else so you don't have to keep going once you've done that complete keep changes and return and that is your player done